Welcome to the next in our series on our statement of faith. We started with our purpose, our preamble. This video will talk about the first article in our statement of faith, the Word of God. Let me read it for you. We believe that God has spoken to us in the scriptures, the 66 books of the Old and New Testaments. These books were written as God spoke through human authors. They are verbally inspired and inerrant in their original writings and serve as our only rule for faith and practice. Therefore, the scriptures are to be believed in all they teach, obeyed in all it requires, and trusted in all it promises. At Union Church, we believe that the Bible consists of the 66 books of the Old and the New Testament. Because of this conviction, we commit ourselves to preaching them in their entirety and allowing them to have authority over our lives. But why do we put so much trust in these 66 books? Because we believe that they represent an accurate record of the thoughts and message of God himself. The Bible itself claims to be the very word of God. 2 Corinthians 2.13 states, This is what we speak, not in words taught us by human wisdom, but in words taught by the Spirit, explaining supernatural realities with Spirit-taught words. Now, if this is true, if the 66 books we have in our Old and New Testaments really are from God, well, then they are reliable and trustworthy. Psalm 12.6 tells us, And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined seven times. So if the Bible is trustworthy and without error, then it has authority over our lives. And this is why we put so much trust in the Bible. So what does this mean for our congregation? This means that our corporate worship will revolve around the Word of God. While I hope our preaching is engaging, uh, the value of preaching is not rooted in uh, my personality as a preacher, but it's rooted in the Word of God. This means our church will affirm the things that the Bible teaches, even if it challenges our personal opinions, even if it challenges the culture around us. Philippians 2 tells us that the word of the Lord gives life. And this is what our church, this is what Union Church commits to giving to all who come in contact with us. Now, our previous statement of faith made no mention of the Bible and its authority. Union Church doesn't believe that we can do whatever seems reasonable to us. We submit ourselves to the authority of the Word of God presented in the 66 books of the Old and the New Testament. Thank you.